hello guys uh, welcome to my channel thank you for uh, visiting me again today uh, we will see how to use arcgis pro for image uh, classification we are going to use supervised image classification which is pixel based image classification and then we will see step by step procedure in order to classify uh, satellite image using arcgis pro so here i have opened my arcgis pro and the login with my uh, login credential so I am going to use Landsat image to classify uh, using this uh, software. So first you have to download your image which is ARD or analysis data. You have to do some uh, image pre-processing like radiometric, geometric and atmospheric correction. So I have already uh, downloaded uh, almost ARD data which is uh, analysis ready data, tier 1 satellite uh, Landsat image. So first we need to add uh, our image to this uh, software. So go to this map and uh, uh, select this add data button and go to your uh, folder. And here I am going to use only uh, the RGB image which is band uh, 324 uh, or adding uh, the fuse band which is uh, color infrared. We are going to use only five bands. So select your uh, four bands, which is band five, four, uh, three, and two from the entire Landsat eight image bands. I'm going to use only these bands. <coughs> so uh, this is my image, which is uh, downloaded from Landsat eight image. Uh, USGS Explorer <coughs> website. So here uh, it is almost uh, cloud free image. It do not have any cloud or haze coverage. So if your image has some atmospheric or radiometric correction, you need to add those pre-processing steps. But for this tutorial, I'm directly uh, going to use the image for image classification. If you need to uh, do those uh, pre-processing, you can check my uh, previous video. So uh, once you have added your uh, bands, the next step is uh, composing the image or layer starting the image. So in ArcGIS Pro, there is an option which is called compositing the image. So go to your uh, job processing tab. You can get this tab from this analysis in the toolbox. In the search for uh, composite or composite bands, then you can get this uh, composite band tool. In this tab, uh, you are going to add your uh, bands to be composited in one into one uh, raster layer so select this tab and add all uh, the bands and uh, give the output name and uh, this click run this will create uh, the composite image or layer stack image of all these four bands completed so here we can get you can see that we have a one layer added which is the layer stack, layer stack or composite image so uh, you can remove these uh, bands And then we can change the uh, layers or the band channels from the symbology of the layer. You can use uh, color infrared or natural color uh, rendering. Like this, this is the RGB image. So next we are uh, going to clip the image based, uh, based on your uh, steady area. So you have to add your raster layer or vector layer. I have uh, my steady area in a rest vector format so you need to extract this image by this uh, vector color uh, vector image so search for extract by mask yeah this one extract uh, the cells of raster that correspond to the area defined by mask So our input raster will be the composite image. 
then the mask feature will be the our steady area or area of interest you can keep the other as default and I just click the run <coughs> So this tax also completed, you can remove this one. You can display this uh, image as uh, RGB or color infrared image for uh, better image recognition or uh, feature identification. Yeah, this is my image when it looks by uh, the RGB or uh, natural color image. So we are going to classify the, this image using uh, pixel based supervised image classification. So once we have completed this step, uh, go to this <coughs> imagery. First, you have to select your layer and then classification tool. Under this, we need to first collect a training sample or represent that pixels for each classes. So from this image, I'm going to classify this image into uh, five broad classes. Here I have uh, built up areas. Again, I have some forests or three parts. This, this one is three part. Again, I have farmland around this area and uh, this is bear land. So I'm going to classify this image into uh, four or uh, five classes. So we need to collect training samples for this. Uh, just go to this classify classification tool and uh, select training sample manager. So here uh, we need to create a schema or you can use the default schema or you can uh, create your uh, a new schema. So just uh, you can edit the existing which is national land cover database which is established in 2011 as a default or you can create our uh, new schema. You can give the, the name of the schema. right click on this one and uh, add new class you can give the name of this uh, class which is built value color also again you can add So uh, this is uh, the classes or the new schema. So I'm going to select a representative pixel, which is uh, spectrally homogeneous samples for each uh, classes. So you can uh, go to <coughs> select uh, each class and uh, collect some samples for each classes. So here I am going to select for build up just from this uh, tabs or from this uh, shapes you can select one of the shape and uh, collect the sample for each class so for the build up you, can ha you have to select as much as possible which is uh, the pixels that represent the build up area and uh, try to cover the image or the entire image As much as possible, you have to select accurate uh, samples for each class. Here is uh, I'm going. Sorry, so let me see.
all these are built up area so based on the quality of your image you have to select spectrally homogeneous pixels and you have to consider a large number of samples as you increase the number of samples your accuracy or image classification accuracy will be also uh, more accurate so these are the samples select all the samples and they use these collapse uh, samples this will be uh, nine samples for a built up area i'm going to show you this uh, for this tutorial purpose but for in your case or for the real work you have to select a much number of samples which is a spectrally homogeneous samples so just i am going to uh, forward this uh, video for this tutorial So here I have selected my samples for each classes. I have built up farmland, forest, and the bear land just for each tutorial. So next you have to save your uh, signature, which is a schema. So go to this folder. Once we have completed the sample or training sample selection, go to this uh, folder, or you can just click this one, save to save your uh, image or your samples. yeah once uh, you have saved you have saved uh, the, your training sample uh, go back to this classification uh, tool and select classify the image so here we are going to select the classifier where we can use a support vector or a nearest neighborhood classifier later earlier so go to your folder and add uh, to this <coughs> so you can just click uh, refresh this is our uh, samples you can use a larger number of maximum number of uh, sample per classes if you have enough time and a uh, uh, good uh, processing uh, speed computer so i'm going to use only uh, 50 just for this uh, uh, tutorial you can use a maximum like rule this one for this uh, classification purpose So uh, our classification is completed. This is a classified image. Yeah. I have uh, five class, four classes built up. Farmland, uh, forest land, and uh, beer land, or uh, undeveloped land. So this is how you can do the image classification. For better and accurate image classification, you have to focus on the training sample selection. And the next you will see how to do the image uh, accuracy assessment of this classified image. And see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for your time. And don't forget to like, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next tutorial.